Well, staying with politics, the Social Democratic Party has accused the government of Kogi State of attacking its witnesses in the ongoing election tribunal. At a news briefing in Abuja, the SDP wants security agencies to ensure that lawlessness doesn't prevail in Kogi State. The national chairman of the party, Shehu Gabam, expressed the party's grievances over what it called a targeted attack on three of its witnesses at the ongoing tribunal. I'm giving you a copy of the letter to the IG. Uh, I do not know if this was mentioned before, but let me read them out. Specifically, on 28th of March, Thursday, it was yesterday, after the court, the following attacks on SDP members were recorded in Kogi State. One, the house and the shops of Mr. Galadima were vandalized, wares were brought out and put on fire at Osi Okutu. Well, in its reaction, the Kogi state government has dismissed the allegation by the Social Democratic Party that it masterminded attacks on witnesses at the ongoing governorship election petitions tribunal. The Commissioner for Information and Communications, Kingsley Fongwu, says the allegation was not only reckless, but stands logic on its head, and it is important to enlighten the SDP that the case at the tribunal was between parties and that the state government, which it accused, was not one. The allegation drifted into the abyss further by claiming that supporters of the thoroughly defeated candidate of the Social Democratic Party in the election, one Muritala Ajaka, was, were attacked. We wouldn't have bothered to respond to the backing of the SDP and its leadership as the state government is busy with governance. But it is important to set the record straight and address the minds of the public to the tradition of lies by the SDP. In other news,